Vlog, everybody. It's me. It's the greatest host of Oktoberfest ever, Clayton Von Bruin. Why Von Bruin? That's all I could think of in the moment. Von Forest? Von, ooh, like Black, Black Forest. Forest. Von, Von Black Forest, gummy <laughs> bears. I come from the land of gummy bears. Black ah, Forest. so okay. it is oh. <laughs> Oktoberfest week. Woo! Woo! Prost. 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 Whatever. <laughs> And I have German uh, ancestors in me, too. That's and why, I that, don't. That's why, that, that, that's why I'm giant. German, Norwegian, all that. Yeah. Uh, so, it is Oktoberfest week. We are super excited for that. It's one of our yes. favorite times of the year. We love to so, eat. we got bar Barbecue Friday this Friday. Mm -hmm. And we always look forward to a little kraut. With a little spit. Kraut. Kraut. <laughs> Sausages, which are hot dogs for us. And, I don't know, uh, pretzels. Pretzels. And we might do what? A potato salad, maybe? Some potato salad. And of course, you gotta have your beverage. You gotta have the good old beer made of roots. <laughs> Root beer! <laughs> oh, we're looking forward to that. So, today starts off our Oktoberfest kickoff. Uh, we're gonna be talking about a lot of things Oktoberfest, and we're going to be having a lot of fun this week. And as you know, last Friday we did make our Bavarian caps, okay? Caps? Caps. Caps. Caps, hats, bats, smats. Cap is a baseball cap. Okay. Our bonnets. Ooh, I wonder if I still have a hot dog in there from last year. Oh. No, no, no. no. But as you'll see, I'm still a little wrinkled. I'm still uh, kind of uh, hungover from uh, last year's Oktoberfest. Oh, uh, party yeah. time, mm. you know. And we did a lot of fun things last year. And we'll talk about one of the events right now. Uh, one of my favorite events that we do. Is the pie eating contest? Oh, the pie! Uh, so we've had we've done it two times, right? Correct. And the first year's winner was you, Gabrielle. Yes. And last year's winner was Gary. Gary. But the most entertaining person, as always, when we do it, is Alana. <laughs> and super entertaining when when we're sitting there making a mess eating the pies, and she whines the whole time, but she has a lot of fun. So, Cindy does a pretty good wine poo. Yeah, yeah, but Cindy's pretty good too. She has some good techniques, you know. But she just y'all copied my flipping it out of the pan. Flip it. You see, the true technique is you just eat the pan. Ooh, but if you have any fillings in your mouth, whoop! Suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> Contest, which we will do again this year, and I think we're going to have ten staff, ten consumers. Yeah, so, so we'll get a sign up set up this week. Uh, sometime uh, we'll talk about it in the morning when we do the routine and we will get some sign up set up so people can participate yes first come first serve and it's a those of you that haven't done it's just a pie that's this big it's not a slice of pie it's a pie and you know can use your hands no no hands all right so let's get into our headlines okay got something Ooh. good uh, I do have two good things. Ooh, two, two good headlines. Do tell. And you know what's great about this week's headlines? What? Is I can read them. Oh, there's no Carl Glyphic? No, because I wrote them. Oh, okay. and And I can read my chicken scratch. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, headline number one. It's official. It is officially Oktoberfest time around the world. Uh, Oktoberfest actually runs for 16 days. Every year, 16. 16. Yes, mm -hmm. and it starts on September 16th, always in the middle of September, to the first Sunday of October, which happens to be this year, October 3rd. So that's why it starts on the 16th. Oh, okay. So their end date's always the first Sunday of October. So whatever that is, they subtract back, and that's when they start it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then fall happens in between. And that fall happens and the change season. and everything. Yeah, it's the end of the harvest, kind of the start of the new year. And it's time for beer of the root beer type. Or the ginger us. beer. For us. But around the world, it is beer beer. Beer beer. Uh, pretzels, schnitzel, bratwurst, all that good stuff. Wiener dogs. Wiener dogs. <laughs> Wiener dogs wearing Bavarian hats. Mm -hmm. And Lederhosen. Lederhosen. Ah. So, that is the first headline because, hey, it is the start of the Oktoberfest season. Yes. Prost. Prost. Well, not too bad. I went in front of the camera, at least. I, I do notice that you have nice yellow. Yes. Somebody decided to make it nicer, not so ghetto like Carl. 
Gabrielle. We can thank for that. We got colored ones, and we'll change them every day. Woo Not be all lazy like that Carl guy. All white. Yeah. Plain vanilla. Who loves to throw these on us and uh, just say, hey, by the way, you guys are going to do the morning routine this week without any warning. Yeah. Well, he did give me warning at like 5 o'clock this morning where he said, do you have your leader, Hosen? 5 o'clock? It was like close to the 6 of the Oh, okay. Yeah. But it felt like 5 o'clock. Sounds good. Because I had coffee. So, because oh. I don't drink coffee anymore. Oh. Yet. <laughs> Once I get some stuff taken care of, coffee and you're coming back to one cup a day. <laughs> All right. So, our next headline is, oh my gosh, there's a new world record. Of what? Uh, morning routine cards that cannot be read because Carl wrote them. No, that's not the record I'm talking about. Oh. But the new world record is Beer Stein Holding. Beer Stein Holding. So, it is... Oh. oh! Okay, oh. So, a beer stein or a beer mug in Germany is one liter. Okay. Big dogs. The waitresses and people, they don't use trays when they take them out to people. They hold them in their hands and their in their body, and then they stack them and they take them to the table, and then people grab them and stuff. So, no tray means you have to be kind of strong and talented on how you hold those so you don't drop them all. Coordination, man. Coordination. So the new world record was set this year at the beginning of Oktoberfest, and it was a gentleman because if anybody could do it, and his name was Oliver Strumpel. Strumpel. Yeah, Strumpel, not Strudel. Strumpel. Strumpel. He held a world record of 29 one liter. 29? 29 one liter mugs of beer, and he had to carry them from one spot to a table. And he did it without dropping any of them. And they're all filled with beer. I think I could only probably put three in my hand, maybe. And then they're full of beer? And they're full of beer. And he carried 29. And you'll see this image up here in a second of the gentleman. And we got a big old smile on his face, and 29, that is impressive. I have a hard time holding my one coffee cup at times and dropping it. That's why I use ones with screw-on lids that don't spill. <laughs> That's why Carl uses a straw. That's why I use a straw. <laughs> so imagine that, 29 one-liter mugs of beer. That is impressive. I, I, I can't even fathom it in my mind. I'm trying to think, if I had three and three, that would only be six. And then I'd have to care. I'd have to have, and then the arms, I'd have to have Velcro hooks hanging yeah, off. Yeah, because of the way they hook them and stuff, and you pick them up, and then they stack more on top. I think I, I think with the picture there was three layers on it, and each layer had less, but the first one was like a big bulk of. Oh my! Twenty nine. Was he wow. a big guy? No. 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 I, you know, probably the size of Carl. So puny, a puny German. Oh, there's hope. Yeah. So. Guys, if you want to set a world record, start practicing now. Get some of those glass beer steins, fill them up with your favorite beverage, and try carrying them from one spot to the next. Wow. Oh! That was a good that one. That was a good one. Oh, that one went pretty good. That was impressive. That one would have taken somebody's eye out. If Ray was still standing there, I would have hit him right in the forehead. That would have been you know? right here. Hey, so he's thankful he's not. Oh, man. Oh. So, those are today's headlines. What do you guys think about those? Huh? So... I I, I'm impressed about the 29. Yeah. I'm still like, oh wow. It's kind of like the hot dog eating guy in July, you know. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Mr. Joe, Joey Chestnut. Yeah, isn't he a local guy? Like from San Jose. I yeah, think. from like San Jose. Yeah, so he's a he's a California dude. All right. So what we are also going to do this week is something fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, something fun this week. <laughs> So, on every morning routine this week, we are going to give you a German word of the day. And each word is part of a phrase. Yes. And this phrase, you'll have to remember and maybe write down, make a note of every word that we say in the week. And then on Friday, you have to come to... We haven't decided yet. To somebody, which we'll announce before the end of the week. Yes. And say what the phrase is. In German. In German. Okay. So today's word of the day is... Listen carefully what the word is. Are you ready? V. Like the letter V. But it's W-I-E. -E. So it's V. 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 Okay? V means, should I tell them in English? 
We can, yes. In English, it means how. How. So the first word will be V. Okay, and tomorrow's, on tomorrow's morning routine, we're going to have the second word. And every day there's going to be one. And on Friday, if you remember the saying, and we made one that's not super complicated, it's very simple, but you have to remember. So this day's word is V. All right, so I'm looking forward to the sayings, all right? So V. And you will, you will have to get it correct, and then your name goes in a drawing for a really cool prize. Really cool prize. And see, and Ray already missed out because he didn't hear it. All right, so let's we 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 have to see our friends today. We do. We still do have friends. We do have friends. I don't know how, but we do. Um, our first friend is our friend Josh, who's going to give us our positive quote of the day. Hello, everybody. Jo Joshua Asbill with the positive quote. Today's positive quote, I truly appreciate kindness. I appreciate people checking up on me. I appreciate those who ask if I'm okay. I appreciate every single person in my life who has tried to brighten my days. It's the little things that matter the most. Wow, what a way to start this week off. We got some German, we got some good looking uh, leader hosting dudes, and we got a dudes. Pos you just called yourself in the plural. Well, a couple personalities up there. <laughs> you just never know which one comes out. That's right. There, there's actually a lot of characters up there's there. There's a lot you know, going you know, on up there. You know, there's a lot of people in a van down by the river. Yes, you know? there is. Uh, and I don't know who comes out sometime here. Then yeah. right now, it's it's the coolest leader host of host of the for the next week. So, thank you, Josh. It's always good to start the week off with a positive quote. Okay. Uh, next, we have our national day of wit. Fräulein Gabrielle. All right, well, let's see what today's national day of is. Morning, everybody. Here we are, Monday. I oh, hope everybody had a great weekend. I did. I relaxed. I was pooped. I don't know why. Maybe it's the change. You feel fall coming now and it's getting a little cooler and you just feel like being a lounger and football's out there. Hope everybody did good if you have football picks going on. <sighs> yes, so Monday and uh, the national day today is, it's National Daughter's Day. You know, you got a daughter? Don't have a daughter. Are you a daughter? Some of you out there are a daughter. I'm a daughter and I have a daughter. Uh-huh, some of you only have brothers, but your mother was a daughter and your grandmother was a daughter. You got daughters all around you, even if they're not yours. Uh, I have one daughter and I love her very much. And you know, just like anybody else, even at her age, she gets on my nerves sometimes, or she did when she was younger. We all get on each other's nerves, but we do have a good time together. We do annual mother-daughter trip gonna come up Ooh, pretty soon and after Thanksgiving we always go Christmas shopping in Carmel it's lots of fun we look forward to it try a new little hotel motel because the Carmel they got all these little cute little hotels motels inns anyway that's what I do with my daughter that's something reoccurring that we do every year it's kind of our thing nobody else gets to come but mothers and daughters do have a special bond. It's kind of, they say, a hate-love relationship, you know, because you're alike in so many ways, usually. My daughter, a lot of you have met her, she looks like me. They call her my doppelganger, which means somebody that looks just like you. Not a twin, but when people see both of us standing together, they go, ooh, and my daughter will say, I know. I know. 
she looks just like me. But, you know, I tell her it could be worse. She could look like an alien, so, you know. I well, know there could be some cute aliens out there, too. Well, here nor there. That's today's national day. So, if you are a daughter, or you know a daughter, there you go. You know somebody out there that's a daughter. Me. So, everybody have a great day today on National Daughters Day. Oh my gosh, it is something I do not celebrate. National Daughter Day. You ain't got one. Yep, yeah, and I'm not one. So, <laughs> so, so uh, I don't celebrate that day. I'm, uh -huh, yeah, I hate yeah. a picture. But I know she's got a mini her. You know, that's her daughter. I, I know Cindy's got a few daughters. You guys might know one. Uh, Carl is the daughter of somebody. Okay, he's not. Ay, ay, ay. He's not. I'll be nice. For how long? <laughs> Until the next morning routine. Yeah. All right. Well, well, thank you for sharing that. A lot of people have daughters out there, and I know some do appreciate them, and some don't during their teenage years. True. <laughs> because they can be a pain in the tookus. A rumpus. <laughs> I have sisters who are daughters, and I saw. Okay? All right. So, next, we're going to see that the bearded man from the past. The bearded man from the past. I wonder what he's got in store for us today. Let's see. Hey, everybody. Hope you all had a nice weekend. Uh, we're back. It's uh, Monday the 25th. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go back, back, back in the bearded past, past with Zach. And... Today I'm going to talk about two important firms in Syria. So in 1854, Daniel Whitmore, you ever been on Whitmore Road out there? Guess what? It's named after this guy. And his family, along with his friend C.P. Warner, another road out there, John Service, another road out there, and uh, crossed the plains from Michigan to California in a wagon train, all right? So Mr. Whitmore settled near Cherokee Lake, north of Stockton, not too far from the future side of Lodi. The Warner and Service families, they lived up in the Auburn area originally. In 1867, though, Mr. Whitmore bought eight parcels of government land totaling almost 5,000 acres in the central Stanislaus County. The Warners and Services soon joined them. Um, also buying land and building houses. All three families engaged in farming, becoming neighbors of Levi, Levi Carter, another farmer, another road out there, who had previously settled in the area. In 1869, or thereabouts, George Tolley, another road out there in that country. So if you go out in that country, you can drive down the areas of where all these folks uh, own this land, right? And Richard Whitmore. Um, so what they did is they became pioneer farmers in this area. Having learned the Central Pacific Railroad was coming, they started the town of Ceres. So that was very common, uh, railroad towns, railroad towns, railroad towns. You can buy swaths of land uh, off, you know, off the railroad. That was part of the uh, deal. And then, you know, a lot of towns got built up. So one of the big things they did off this railroad town is they had a bustling place with series. They had a flour mill. It's shown below in the uh, pictures here. And it had its own spur track and was equipped with a straw burning boiler, which powered a quarter cordless engine. Um, the wagon loads of wheat came in one door, sacks of flour came out the another door. Although unfortunately the mill was destroyed in the fire of July 1883, but the town continued to be a shipping center for wheat throughout the 1890s. Um, so you're going to see pictures of this area, but like I said, Tolly, Service, Whitmore, Carter, these are all roads that were named after these gentlemen out in the series area, you guys. So a uh, little piece of series. Here's a little bit of the uh, sketches of the, the flour mill. And uh, all right, guys, take care. Hey, everyone. It's Isaiah here, and today I'm going to be doing the meme of the week 
I'm showing you what segment I do. I love making my own memes, so I'm gonna show you my first meme. When you realized that someone was asking you a stupid question about something like aliens invading Earth, but then you think they're just a total whack and high as heck. Wow, he always takes us back to a time long ago. Many moon ago. Yesterday. No, just kidding, it wasn't yesterday, it was longer. Well, that is in the past. It is. Well, when I said yesterday, that was actually the past. Yeah. I'm confused now. Oh, all right. All right, well, thank you, Zach. You always give us some good history things, which sometimes I, I know some of them, and sometimes it's like, oh, I did not know that. Exactly. And that's really cool. That's really cool information to learn, because we learn from our past. Sometimes good things happen, sometimes some mistakes are happening, but we learn from them. That's why it's always, history. Yep. History. Yep. All right. Well, that's uh, that's our show for today. Ooh. So, it's Oktoberfest. Remember what our word of the day is. V. V? V. Okay? Which means how. Okay? So, memorize. Write them down for each of them. You know, some of you guys who have your writing your journals at the end of the day, maybe a good thing to do. Writing it. Good. good Make it know. Make it know. So note. today's word of the day was V. v. All right. All right. So it's Monday. We'll have uh, our live at one. We have fun, fun uh, trainings going on today. And also, reminder: don't forget those of you guys looking for employment. A lot of seasonal hiring is happening this Wednesday. We do have the job fair at Vintage Fair Mall for all their seasonal hiring. Remember. Hot dog on a stick. Hot dog on a stick. Oh, a wiener on a stick. <laughs> oh, 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 geez. I'm on. I'm on. The worst. Oh, you're the worst. I'm the worst. Oh, you're the worst. All right, guys. Uh, have a great day, and we will see you on the morning routine tomorrow.